On my internet computer, that thing was like three dollars and some change. Now it's like ten something. Then you got another coin. Um, what is it called? Taylor. That was like seventeen. Now that's thirty. So, so like a lot of the coins are moving up, but the Deutsche coin is not really moving. And every time somebody give me Deutsche coin, I go and buy another coin with it. <laughs> but I'm gonna start keeping it because <laughs> eventually it's going in a dollar one day. Oh, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming back. Give me one minute. Eventually, it's going to hit a dollar one day. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, so I figured it out. So now that the Dogecoin is like real, 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 real low, that means that the she coin is going to hit its, hit, man, it's going to hit some high notes. I'm telling you. And then I remember Brother Daniel told me, um, I think I told y'all, he said around August, right? How, how many of y'all remember? He said around August or September, it was supposed to go up astronomically, right? And then why would God bring me that vision back that I had in 2020 that came to pass? But why would he bring it back to me again? And then I realized, I was like, but wait a minute, daddy. I was like, don't you say it's low. It's like on the floor. I said, but Sheba got uh, four zeros left. And he and, and so he reminded me. So I was like, oh, man. So that means that she going to be going off any moment now. It's like they can't stop it. Like, okay, it's like they took the tree. And they shook the tree as much as they could. They got as many wells as they could. <laughs> they got as many retail people as they could. I mean, they got as much as they want out of it, right? But now it's getting to the point, like that vision, I had a um, Yadathoth, the devil, in the uh, cobra skin. And he had that pig. And the Luna was just going up. And he was trying to catch and he couldn't. And then all these other coins started zoom. And he couldn't catch them neither, right? So I really think... It's getting to the point now where they can't stop the she or other coins from going. But next year is when that big crash is supposed to come. So when y'all coins do start going up, you better take a you better take most of it. Leave a little, but you better take most of it. Don't be greedy. If you get millions of dollars, because some of y'all is really heavily invested in it, take your money and run. And I asked God, I was like, Daddy, would these platforms be able to pay people? <laughs> Cause some of these coins was a penny. Let's say somebody bought, like, like some people got 10 billion sheep. Then you got these whales that got 50 billion sheep, right? And then you got these coins that was a penny. Like, yes, I know a person, he got a million of them. He told me, he was like, I'm going to hook you up royally. I was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, daddy, are they going to be able to pay these people out? And he said, well, remember the five major uh, platforms I gave you? And it's in the video and I gave it to y'all. And I told you that so small, I gave y'all Coinbase, but Binance, Crypto.com, Kraken, and it was another one. And then I said, there's going to be some small ones that are going to collapse. I think it's been two, two, two or three that have collapsed and people couldn't get their money or nothing. And then one of them or two of them was in bankrupt. So it happened. So he told me these, and then, and then after that, he gave me three other uh, platforms that were going to get big. He told me Binance was going to get bigger than Coinbase, but Coinbase wasn't going anywhere. But Binance was going to get just as big or bigger. And the reason why Coinbase is not going anywhere is because Coinbase really started it all. So if, it's like Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes, everything goes, right? But then I had a vision a while back that they depegged Bitcoin. I had a vision that they made Bitcoin by itself. And, and and like Ethereum was still kind of hooked up to the Bitcoin, but Ethereum was like running like it running on its own. But Bitcoin was depegged. It was by itself. All the other little coins didn't depend on it anymore because a lot of them was running off of Ethereum, right? So in the dream, Ethereum was like a machine, and I saw all these little coins running on it. But Ethereum got big like Bitcoin. I don't know if it's going to go to a hundred thousand because i saw bitcoin at a hundred thousand a long time ago but then there's some people saw it at 200 200 000, right so i don't know if ethereum is going to go as big like that but i know one day ethereum could be worth fifty thousand dollars i know that and i saw ten thousand dollars and it has the potential of being worth fifty thousand because they're going to they're going to find a way to depeg bitcoin so if Bitcoin goes down, it's not going to take the rest with it because they 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 coming out with these digital coins, the banks, then the government, 
So when these banks come up with their own coins and then the government has their coins and everything's pegged to Bitcoin and Bitcoin flops, their coins are going to flop too because everything's pegged to Bitcoin. So they're going to de-peg it somehow, give it its own separate ecosystem. And that's what, that's what I think is going to make Bitcoin blow up to the 100,000, 200, 300,000 that people keep saying they see. Because it's going to have like its own ecosystem like uh, the the she does now. Because she, you got she barium, you even got she ethereum, right? But you got to have an ethereum wallet to buy it because they got it on uphold, right? So they're going to build like a whole big ecosystem around Bitcoin. It's going to run on its own. But ethereum is still going to be kind of with it. But it's a lot of these other stable coins and meme coins. And like some of these meme coins and some of these stable coins, some of them aren't going to exist in a couple of years. Like the ones we see now on CoinbaseGrid.com, some of these stable coins and some of these meme coins are not going to exist anymore in a couple of years. Only the strong will survive, right? So it's going to get to the point. So it's so Bitcoin fall, the rest of them won't fall. And, and they're going to make it where you see how Luna fell, right? And it, it dropped everything. They're going to make it where if any of these type of coins fall, right, or get hacked really bad, it's not going to affect the rest of them. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I kept seeing the word depeg, depeg, depeg. So they're coming up with a way where they're going to depeg Bitcoin. Ethereum's still going to be hooked up with somehow to it. And then a lot of these coins that run on Ethereum is going to bring Ethereum up to very high heights. And they're going to figure out ways to make these coins have their own ecosystem. So when one falls, it won't take the rest down with it. And they're doing this because of what happened with Luna. So if Bitcoin ever go to a zero like people keep saying it will one day, it won't affect the rest of the coins. And I truly believe if Bitcoin ever does go to zero, I've never seen it go to zero. I've seen it go to 5,000, 10,000. And I saw it going below 16,000 because uh, God has said that and it went to 17, right? So um, so if Bitcoin ever, I think if Bitcoin ever goes to a zero like some people say it is, I think it's going to be de-pegged. I don't think, I don't think they're going to let it hit zero while it's connected to all the other coins. I think they're going to de-peg it. Just like they de-pegged the US, what's, what is it, UST that was hooked up to the classic Luna, they de-pegged that. Right? That's why I can't reach a dollar no more. It's like five cents. But if they ever peg it back to the Luna Classic or the Luna 2.0, it's going to shoot up. Right? So you might want to look into that UST coin because I'm noticing when the Classic Luna, not the regular Luna, the Classic Luna, when that goes up, that little, that little uh, UST thing goes up. And right now it's five or six cents. You take a hundred bucks and buy that, turn it into a couple of thousand. Because when the classic Luna goes up, that's going to go up with it. All right. So that's all I can say right now. I got to go. Right. So keep your sheep. Keep it. And when it goes up, don't forget a person. If you get some UST and that goes up, don't forget me. When your Luna Classic and your 2 Luna 2.0, because that's going up too. Don't forget me. You got Jasmine Dodge. Don't forget me. You got Ethereum. Don't forget me. <laughs> All right. Don't forget the one who fed you now. <laughs> All right. So I'll see you later. So everybody that I did pray for, please forgive me. Because, you know, I got to let talk about something else. But I pray that God answers your prayers, whatever it is you need or whoever you want to pray for. And I will be back again to pray soon. All right. So I guess it was meant for me to come on Facebook and not YouTube. All right. So I'll see you guys soon. And thank you all for the stars and the star party. Love you much. Shalom.